Do you really want to do you really want to taste it? It's the greatest opening to any television show in history. The Peacemaker opening number with that ridiculous dance number and that ridiculously awesome song is the greatest opening. I actually, just before we recorded this, I watched that opening again, and it makes my heart happy. And it reminded me how much I miss Peacemaker. But now... Thanks to our friend James Gunn, apparently we're not going to have to wait for Peacemaker Season 2, or at least now we officially know we are getting Peacemaker Season 2, and we might not have to wait quite as long as we thought maybe we would. Okay, so James Gunn, we've been talking a little bit about this because there was a lot of great little nuggets in it, but James Gunn recently just did an interview on Michael Rosenbaum's Inside of You podcast, great podcast. Uh, Rosenbaum does a great job on with that show of his. But at any rate, and there was a lot of great little nuggets that came out of it. But one of the most exciting, if you're somebody like me, is the fact that he's confirmed, oh yeah, there's going to be Peacemaker 2, and oh yeah, I'm the one who's doing it, and oh yeah, as soon as I'm done with Superman Legacy, my I'm going right into Peacemaker 2. This comes from the folks at IGN. I write the following. Speaking on the Inside of You podcast, Gunn shared a little on how Peacemaker would fit into the already incredibly busy DCU schedule that includes five films and five shows of its own. Peacemaker's coming back right after I do Superman Legacy. That's my next thing, God said plainly. I'll go straight into Peacemaker from Superman. All right. Now, this to me is incredibly exciting uh, because... Again, Peacemaker. Listen, I'll, go, I'll say it. I don't care if it's not popular. Peacemaker is the best TV show DC has ever done. There, I said it. I love Smallville. It's better than Smallville. Ooh. They, no, I said it. I loved Arrow. Better than Arrow. Better than Flash. Uh, and, and I liked those shows. I liked all of them. There's a lot of DC stuff on TV that I've really liked. Peacemaker is the best show DV, DC has ever put on. After Gotham Knights, right? Well, after, after Gotham, Gotham Knights. Knights, that was so good. Yeah. They were like, we got to cancel it yeah. because we're just making all the other TV shows exactly. look That's bad. My point. After one season, that's too much glory for everybody to handle. So I am incredibly thrilled about this, but they're not wrong, IGN, when they mentioned uh, the incredibly busy schedule. Because look, right now, the brand new DCU that's officially kicking off with Superman Legacy, Gods and Monsters, they're calling the first chapter, is already pretty busy. I mean, they've got projects like this already coming up. They got Creature Commandos, Waller. Of course, Superman Legacy will be first up. They got that Lantern thing that I'm so excited about. The Authority, Paradise Lost, Batman Brave and the Bold, the Booster Gold thing, Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, and of course, a lot of people are very excited about Swamp Thing. They got a lot of stuff going. Now, here's the other thing that makes me just a little bit concerned, all right? As excited I, as I am, about Peacemaker, as excited as I am that James Gunn is going straight up, hands on with Peacemaker, saying, I am going straight into Peacemaker as soon as I'm done with Superman Legacy. As, as excited as I am to hear that, and as much as I love that, it does raise a little bit of a concern and a question with me about, James, you are now the head of the studio. Like Saying you go straight into it, that's great, but you are now the head of the studio. And I get it, you writing and directing the first movie coming out in this brand new DCU. You are setting the tone. You are giving the DNA to it. I totally understand it, and I applaud it, and I think that's the right move. But after that, maybe you should step back from the hands-on thing and be be a little bit more big picture. And, and I, I'm a little bit worried that... He is getting himself too involved in the minutia of actually now making the shows and the movies when he should be taking half a step back and just kind of being the overall guiding creative force of the whole thing. Again, doing the movie that's kicking everything off, get it. Wanting to do a movie of his own every once in a while, I get it. But rolling right from Superman Legacy right into Peacemaker Season 2 makes me a little bit nervous. Maybe that's part of the reason why he only accepted the job if he could have Peter Safran as his co-CEO, and maybe he's going to be able to j juggle this. No problem. Maybe he will, and I'm worried about nothing. But right now, my pure joy of Peacemaker <laughs> Season 2 coming is outweighing my concern I have of James Gunn maybe spreading himself a little bit too thin. We want to thank a sponsor of this video, 
Mint Mobile. From the gas pump to the grocery store, your utility bills and favorite streaming services, inflation is everywhere. Seriously, make it stop. Thankfully, there's one company out there that's giving you a much needed break. It's Mint Mobile. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. You guys know that ever since I switched to Mint Mobile, I've been saving almost 70% a month over my old phone plan. For people looking Looking for extra savings this year? Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just $15 a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Question is for you guys. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this? Do you like the idea of James Gunn saying that, hey, there's going to be a Peacemaker season two, that I'm rolling right into it as soon as I'm done Superman? Or... Do maybe you feel a little bit like me that like, hey, James, maybe you need to step back a little bit, whatever. But then again, it's hard for me to imagine anybody else kind of giving direct oversights to Peacemaker other than James Gunn after the brilliance of season one. Anyway, guys, whatever you think about all that, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our video. Make sure you click the thumbs up button on it and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget that we do a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast. Go and subscribe to it today on your favorite podcasting app of choice.